Well, day. As we are on Concealed Hill, welcome to map one. Night Elf vs. Human, always one of the most exciting matchups we have. Sock on the upper right hand side, going for the lap immediately. And Moon has the scouting wisp there, so we can expect a pretty action packed early game. Big creep here being attempted at the start by Sock. Inviting Moon basically to a creep jack, but Moon isn't coming. Moon is uninterested. He's creeping his own camp and gonna use the treants to get to level two and next to green. I've seen Sock sometimes lately play one base tech here as well, which uh, seemed unthinkable in the past. But the humans, they have found uh, more versatility and a bit of a taste for some pushes as well. That's right. They just decided that creeping on concealed is very doable. Expanding here is very doable. And also successfully doable. We have uh, Statsman Dondo chiming in from the sidelines. Sock has the highest MMR he ever had on ladder currently. He also has won the last three series between the two. In other words, I am jinking Socks into a uh, Sock into oblivion. That is true. His ladder performance is really good. That is not too reflected in tournaments at the moment, though. Yeah, the latest big tournament uh, for him. Solo competition-wise was WSB, right? We didn't make it too far. Trying to show his worth, prove himself here today. Earlier against Fly, it looked really good. That was a sick series. Moon also had to fight hard for his win in the Elf Mirror. He's creeping a lot, by the way, here. Taking this camp away. Oh my god, such a big last hit. Good entangle. Ensures the last hit. Keeper has so much XP already, but very low mana now. It feels like... More and more players from all different races are prioritizing creeping these days in the past couple of weeks. Not instant level 1 or early 2 harasses, but level 3 on the horizon. Now, a replenishment potion cancelled, still did replenish a little bit. And here comes the militia. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Aiming force around here. Hot feet over here on the keeper, dodging that surround narrowly. Here come the wisps. Could be a sick detonate. Oh, but good splits. And the keeper trapped back here. Could summon the treants? Maybe. I don't think there's any getting out. Not really. He's trying to get the treants up front to give the damage up top up. And now only the archmage can attack. He gets level three. Arch is still there. Sick movement. Yeah. Treants are protecting him. Arches are finding so many kills. Oh my god, what a sick recovery by Moon. That was pretty crazy. Finally, watch the metal summon again. That is so many losses. Next footy also going to go down. The archer positioning and the treants and the keeper all beautiful. Then. That was one hell of a curse that Dondo threw on Sock. TP out now. And the archers almost all get away. Ooh, and the Lumber in the main is looking rough, dude. Only three hurt peasants on Lumber, but a bunch of it's still available. But yeah, that was lots of losses. Nice, nice, nice. Mr. Moon, you clearly thought this out. There was a sweet positioning there. Little hiccup with the positioning and the pickaxe power was strong, but in the end, lots of damage done. What's the follow-up though? Archmage, Hurt, Panda here. Lots of entangles too. Dude, that tree and play was so sick. I think the game is over, man. <laughs> That's a level 3 keeper who came in here with full mana. Panda at the expansion. Okay, Sock, uh, well, well. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a difficult position, buddy. Well, Moon f clearly coming prepared. Panda surrounded. Should be able to fight out, I guess. No consumable though, so if he gets out, he is still endangered. Nutrients. Only level one though. AM can only watch from the sidelines. Entangle will force the TP quickly. Ooh, and some more peasants going down. Yikes! Haven't seen this successful of a keeper early game in a long time. Last few games where I saw the keeper played against human, he was always. Getting kind of owned, looking kind of trash, but man, is this a strong keeper. Centrius, his name. C E Entrius, C E Entrius, C E Entrius, and Centrius was his name. 
Yeah, it is a problematic situation for Sock. But he's getting workers back up. The expo couldn't be cancelled. Arcane Tower is also up. Panda didn't really have the craziest impact yet. Um, so if Sock scouts that expo and somehow uses Archmage Footman against it or just dies to it, then the <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so funny. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> uh, Alright, AM still living on a prayer. Keeper looking for him. Panda harassing, getting more peasant kills. Just a beautiful game by the moon. I think we shouldn't underestimate Sock. His okay. lumber is an issue. Panda is down though. Is that out though? Who I was worried for a second. Uh, Expo for Moon will still take some time, and Tech is running. Plus, Moon is not going for tier three. I think that's ch there's a chance Sock turns this around. There is a way. There's a possibility, but Moon is looking grand. Panda going to be rezzed in no time. Keeper is getting level four from this camp right here. I am predicting level 6 keeper this game. Ooh! Ready to first. Okay. This was Remo's way, by the way, uh, to... Oh, God damn it! I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you cursed him! Yeah. There we go. There we go. This was Remo's way of nicely putting uh, it in, like, nicely saying that I'm completely out of my mind and I should probably not talk about this game any further because what I say is ludicrous, but we've seen weird things today. And if Sock kind of the game of, of comebacks and clutch plays. Yep. To be fair. This Archmage is running around with a red health bar for six minutes now. Oh, even got a kill here on the archer. Level six keeper. I'm very curious. What do you do if there's no level six keeper? Then. I'm wrong. Would not be the first time today. Zeppelin plays. Dryad's in position though. It's only five footmen. And you can't drop this Archmage, can you? It's today like Players. International Zeppelin Day. We've seen a lot of these. How much can you do with it though? Seems like not too much really. Wisps also being pulled away. Man, Moon is on top of things here. That's probably correct. And it's also teching by now. We get one Sanctum up. Ooh, Blacksmith not done yet at the arrival of tier two. Little oversight, but yeah, lumber still an issue, dude. Can't believe it. Yeah, I think it should be clear that Sock cannot hope to win this game with like a 70 supply push, as humans quite often try to do if they're in a good position and if they have a lead. The thing that Sock certainly doesn't have here is a lead. So what's he gonna do instead? It's a Blood Mage second. You know, I love myself some tier 3 play. But yeah, this is uh, hard to make the right call here for Sock. It's also hard to break bases though. With Militia, Shredder, Tower. We'll still take some time to get this together. So Moon arriving on tier 3. Bears there. Red Spot is his. He could probably just expand here again. Yeah, the creeping here is the most important thing he's doing. The Panda's taking camps away from the Blood Mage. Blood Mage will have basically nothing to creep except for the little orange right outside his main. Especially Concealed Hill <clears throat> is the perfect map for the Night Elf to use their map control to take most of the creep camps away from the opponent and then have the advantage of way superior heroes, which is already the case. Sock is researching defend at the 11 minute mark. But that's something. But no long rifles. That's also quite something. So double casters, double racks. Can he get some sort of army on the ground? He has 1300 gold. He has no time. I 
damage getting level 4 here is pretty nice. But this damage is uh, gonna have a tough time. We can scout in the main base as well. Try and see what's going on. Oh, and they may have seen production starting. Sock may have only one chance, one push this game. But Moon will try to get ready for Moon. The one thing is, he's still not really rich. True. 400 gold only, quote unquote. Get an orb now, double heal scroll, that's fine. And he is indeed expanding in the middle again. Sock has to clobber down two bases with one attack. Waiting for his army to congregate. Blood Mage finally taking his first creep camp. Gonna get a bit of XP here, but not gonna be enough for level two. Against the Demon Hunter, we see a lot of uh, banish play, which is really good at disabling that hero. But against this assortment, we should be expecting a flame strike, which I haven't seen in a long time. Well, gotta watch more Angry Korea Man uh, games. Korea, Korea. We get breakers, rifles, damage upgrades. Sock is looking better and better. Moon will be able to get up to 80 now, Moon well wise. But that's also 400 gold invested into the tree in the middle that didn't pay off yet. Panda is not five. Keeper is not five. There's a chance. Panda's getting close though. He's getting real close. And Tucker's looking for creep camps. Where are some creep camps? There's one green next to his natural. That would be level two. But the army for him is also kind of slow. I guess he's just trying to assemble his forces, get the heal scrolls, very important. All right, that's gonna be it. One push to hope for a win. Okay then, Militia is already there. Man, he came there early. I can relate. With the shredder even, and a zap, off we go. All eggs, one basket, and we go towards the concealed hill. All right, Panda, ready to start a barbecue. One might say, start cooking with a level three Breath of Fire, ready to go. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, boom! First big ignition. Holding on to the heal scroll still is Sock. This is a beautiful position. Between these two forests, wonderful spot for him. Yeah, with the breakers there, with rifles in the back, Shredder is also taking some damage. Level two on the Blood Mage. That's Flame Strike and Siphon for you now. In the meantime, Moon is transitioning to Mountain Giants, which should be the knockout punch. MG equals GG. Everyone knows, but that's also halting bear production for more for now. I think his Moon doesn't have to hold this middle expansion. It's kind of a luxury for him. And now with a Panda out of mana, this will be a very difficult fight for him. Mass Riders, though, don't care about the Blizzard, and there's not that many rifles to deal with these Dryads. Right on. How do you do? They're stepping forward. Needs more reinforcements here. So far, still the supply gap, uh, su supply lead for Sock. Panda being healed, Blood Mage being healed. Could get some more Siphon out. Flame Strike on the Bears on level one. Not too impactful, I gotta say. Oh, staff in. This is oh. a thirsty panda bear. Oh. Dragon Age Breath of Fire. Oh, that's sick damage. Nice and tangle also prevents this mana drain. And that is the game. Double level five heroes. Moon here with a wonderful first. Yeah, and it all started with the harass. Like one of the big strengths of a keeper. This early game pretty much saw the timing perfectly. And then also the keeper execution worked out perfectly. I gotta say, I was very entertained by this game, and I'm once again surprised that Moon is having so much success today. Yeah, and Sok, a rare misstep by him. Normally, he's really good at min-maxing and perfectly playing these expansions safely, and here, he kind of gave Moon also a clear opening. It's hard to blame him, though. Seeing the Keeper there in the back of the gold mine, you think, he's trapped, I can easily force him to TP, and then my expo's gonna be safe. But Moon just, with a crazy play, dude. That Treant block was amazing. Insane. And the archers got so much damage in. So many peasants going down. Sock on the back foot right away. Sick play by Moon. Sick play. Just wonderful Sick to see play. him pull off stuff like, stuff like that. Right on.
The next game was, I guess, cursed by some join bugs. So we have to wait two and a half minutes for that game to start. What are we doing with two and a half minutes, Remo? You could sing Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. Damn my way. Everyone immediately sings that song, right? When thinking of Backstreet Boys. It's it a there. great song. And it's also it relatively easy song. lyrics. It's not like Backstreet's Back All Right, which is also a great song. But I don't yeah. know the lyrics. Okay, now, if you think of that song with Backstreet Boys, yep. which song do you think of right away when I say Robbie Williams? Angels. Correct. Rock DJ, pretty good as well, though. True. Has some good songs. He's yeah, still I, apparently. He is. I think he got his life in order. Yeah. Out of all the people, he now has a healthy family and a good relationship with a bunch of kids. <laughs> That's crazy, Amazing. right? Who yeah. would have thought? And that means... However... Screwed up your life is, guys. Look at Robbie Williams and realize there's always a way to betterment. Uh, unlike Bam Majera, for example. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. that guy is hey, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. down the deep end. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Positive vibes here while we wait. 69 seconds left. I want to say something else. Do it. Oh, yeah. When, when are you going uh, to some movies? Dune 2 is in theaters right now. Probably next week, depending on friends. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the one initiating and uh, waiting for others to, to, nice. to be ready. I'm, I'm ready. My body is ready. Do you have an IMAX theater in Hamburg? We always go to one... Specific cinema. I don't know if it's IMAX or not. You know, I don't really care about that. I go for the story. Yeah, yeah I don't think IMAX is like, you know, well changing. But it's kind of cool. Just like the size of the screen, like it pulls you in. Uh, and uh, in Karlsruhe, where my family is from, they have an IMAX theater. And it's kind of crazy. Like it has a downside though. I think when you are like, not only in the in the in the front half, but like in the front two thirds, you're just too close. I I booked wow. a, a seat in the very last row, the very last row, and I'm like, okay, this is just enough distance because the screen is just so huge. But uh, since Chad asked me, yes, I liked Dune too. I liked it a lot. It is very good movie. They just should rearrange the seats further to the back then. Yeah. That would actually be good, but there's no room. It's, it's, like you're already at the back of the of the room already. At the Sledgehammer, Kadonk! gone is the wall. Seats in the back. You should become manager of the film Palace and ZKM Neo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We do have, of course, lots of experience with uh, the cinema business. So. Yep. You get banned immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I take it back. You shall never step foot in that place. <laughs> Well, should we uh, step foot onto Tide Hunters, maybe? I think we should. Moon with a 1 0 lead. That may have been the most one sided game of the day, right? That was just. Kind the of Echo Isles punch. game against Cow was also pretty one sided, but in general, I'd agree with you. True. That is true. All right, we got Sock trailing zero one bottom uh, upper left hand side and Moon bottom right hand side. If he closes in a two zero victory now, that's huge for the group stage. Huge, it would be. Keeper always the expected hero here on this map. Although there has been some warden experimentation lately. What happened to the warden, by the way? She was there for a minute, and then she was gone again. Needs buffs. Do you agree? Final the moon will, the moon will nerf, Remo. Moon will nerf. Night of unplayable. <laughs> These poor night elves. I don't think we can expect any huge surprises here. Huge. 
Um, Archmage creeping, expanding, trying to get an arcane tower up. Moon trying to tear the arcane tower down. And that's the crux of this map. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this arcane tower. That's exactly what happened. Moon's kind of struggling with the creep camp here. He tried to pull the Murlocs, got slowed, took damage. Now the archer's taking damage. This scout footy is kind of messing with him. Left the item behind as well. Oh, Moon. Little, little asleep on the wheel here at the start. Maybe he felt too confident after two victories in a row. Flying too high, little bird. It's trying to go for a very early Tree of Life expansion. Footy hasn't seen it yet, but he is close. So it's always a bit risky when you go for an expansion early like this. It comes at a price, of course, of a later tech. And if the expansion gets cancelled, you're left with a late tech and a late expo. So this is a bit of a gamble. Gamba gamba. Archmage has good damage though. It can certainly help. Now time for the expansions. Moon a little bit faster with that, but yeah, can suck cancel this. He has uh, solid damage I'll put against Treants. They don't seem to be much of an issue, but good positioning by Moon. Sock can't reach. And great timing on the Wisps. Had those ready for the detonate instantly if needed. Ooh, pretty cool. Okay, I thought this was gonna go wrong, but Moon here has the perfect defense ready right when he needed it. And Sock was not willing to risk all those footmen. If you try to get the cancel, lose all the footies, and you don't end up cancelling the expo, then you find yourself behind. Sock does not want to fall behind again. That uh, happened way too early, way too easy on game one. This time, level three, double claw. I think he is very, very well equipped for the early mid game and no pressure towards his second base just yet. As you said before, Moon charging up for that close to level three attack. The Whisk Scout, so important, sees the AM coming. Can get over to the Tree of Life, try to save that. There's gonna be only one Watch Elemental ready. Keep her very close to three. Only has a single footy to get this kill. Moon looking really solid. Here come the Wisps, ready for the dead -o. And the expansion is safe. Ooh, Water Elemental is not attacking the expansion anymore. Yo, I agree with all these archer series dealing with the non-defend footmen relatively easy. Do you want to sacrifice the wisps? Or do you just face tank the Water Elemental? Can't do that much damage at the moment, so I think you rather save them for faster income. But Sock also uncontested expo on his side. I think both are kind of fine with this. Yeah, the question is, when is Moon finally going to push back this human army and how much Moon Juice is going to be left? Sock right now is trying to drain as much Moon Juice as he can. Of course, it's nighttime now, so we are regenerating, but it won't be nighttime forever. The Denies not working out too well so far on these footies. Keeper's getting some good XP. Three and then some already. It seems like now Sock will have to back off, pack his things and go home. Do we have a tower? Yep, Arcane Tower up, so that's the perfect time. A little bit of chip damage towards the Keeper to drain more Moon Juice. Ideally deny the footy. That doesn't work. Can't have it all. Just most of them. But Sock, attack is the best defense, is his motto on Tide Hunters. And the pressure's not over yet. This is the advantage of the Archmage if you can summon lots of Watch Elements. You keep the pressure going with new footies coming from the main. Ooh. Keeper almost dying to these fireballs. Needs to heal quick, quick, quick. He did. And Sok is, is making Moon's life still quite difficult here. Going for the Entangled. Water Elemental seems to be enough. Usually watering plants is a good idea. Not here though. Now focus fire with Entangled and Archmage that he finally has mana again. And that should be it for now. But Sock is halfway through to, through the tech at the 6 minute 30 mark. This is extraordinary. Speaking of tier 2, Moon's finally gonna reach it here. He's making his way to the tavern. Easy TP first, right? Oh, can try to get the kill. There's the TP. The town is under siege. I'm trying to figure out, but what Benny Gant is trying to tell us in chat, I have no clue what he's talking about. As the chase continues, even supply, Sock with good timings, just trying to survive. 
Does he not have an accessible shop? That's a bit of an issue. The expansion he was able to heal up a bit, but the healing was cancelled. Moon thinking about if he wants to dive here or not. Got one entangle left. Using it to kill the footy. Bunch of archers here. Yeah. And Sok is not really ready to welcome his friend at the moment. Lore's coming, tier 3 as well. Double racks. Now you can heal up. Also a little sidestep towards the shop of the moon. Heal scrolls always sick in any matchup. And now we're cooking up some sweet tier 2, tier 3 armies. Panda second. Okay, now we're talking. I've always been a fan of this Panda second play, especially when it's a lot about tier 2 presence and early tier 2 creeping. And Moon, perhaps a bit over aggressive here on tier 2. He could have been creeping with the Panda archers instead, could have tried to level up that boy. In fact, he's got the Ancient of War over at the expansion. Instead of creeping, Ancient of War could have been at the lab, placed it at the expo maybe a bit too early. Maybe Moon misreading the push time. Oh, this is looking fine. Footman, Watermental, Archmage towards the lore. That's a big delay on bears and dryads, of course. And if you can't go for dryads and dispel upgrade immediately, then Water Elementals have a damn fine time. He's aiming for the second, down to one third. Oh, that's so close. No wisp repair nearby. No cancel. Oh, moon. Disaster. Ooh, that is really messing with him. Archers were nowhere nearby to defend. Archers across the map, perhaps. The critical error. And they're all getting caught. Oh, that was a sick heal scroll. All right, archers all saved once more. But this is the perfect spot for Sock. He's about to churn out that beautiful tier two army. Love it. Okay, then. Rifles being caught at some sweet pickup help. Relieving the pressure for a little bit, but the value of footmen in nowadays meta is just absurd. Ten minutes in. Do we have moon worlds left? I mean juice? Oh. It's a potion. Ay ay ay. ay. Bob of Venom before the first lore finishes. Shows you <laughs> how late we are with this one. Well, I guess the Lord did finish, but he was destroyed. Second lower or double lower is going to be ready now to pump soon, but Sokis really, really putting the screws here on his opponent. Yeah, this Archmage made damn sure that so uh, that Moon is also using that potion. Continues the pressure. Oh, this is so well played, man. What a strong comeback by Sok. A thousand gold, around 50 food, getting upgrades in, being relatively greedy with the upkeep cost. And smooth is sailing for him now. Are under attack. In the very beginning of the game, Moon was able to keep up with the opponent very well. I would say Moon was able to get that expansion rolling very nicely, played it very safe, knew exactly what he had to do. But at some point, it flipped around, and now again we see a very one-sided state of the game. And it seems like Sorg is not missing much to close this one out. I was a bit worried for the panda here, but of course, Moonfinger on the trigger. Up the staff. Creeping in the middle. Kit towers, heal scroll, invul, regen, everything running. Even the first breakers to steal Roar and Reju. I love the state of affair. For Sock Moon with a hurt panda, a hurt keeper, one bear, no dryads, and a tower push is knocking on his door. Good luck! Moon is absolutely not ready. Nope. Still hasn't healed the keeper up. Finally got the rejuve. Beautiful timing. Beautiful execute. Sok here playing a very strong game on map 2. His map choice, of course. Tidehunters. A favorite of many humans out there. If the towers finish, the game is over. Moon has to push back this army, cancel the towers. And the archers might be able to do it. It's already at half, more or less. First bear out of the fight, second bear hurt. Is there a staff ready for him? Yep, but didn't use it. Okay, saving it for the panda, probably. Archers did do a lot of damage to the guard tower. Panda switching around. Invo potion keeps him up. Heal scroll rejuves everything at Sock, though. And without bears, is there even a reason to fight? 
staff, saves that one again. Heal scroll was used up. Can the panda for Moon maybe get some mana? Can he get level 3? There might be a way back in if he can burst through the remaining HP of the army. And the bears are doing some good damage as well. Moon not out of this just yet. Can just see how important this is to the players. Everybody is fighting till the last breath. Don't want to give up a single map uncontested. If there's the smallest chance, they're trying to go for it. But this panda bites the staff and is out of the fight again. Archers burning in the back. Peasants mixed into the fight as well. Shop up for more potions. And the bears are just burning, man. Should have shaved before the fight to the fur isn't getting ignited this easily. And now they're falling, should be falling one after the next. The shop here is wonderful, the mana potion's coming in, and now the Arcane Tower Whee! is up, and that mana burn is really painful. Moon's Panda, dry right away. Ironically, normally he loves to be doused in the liquids. Getting staffed over and over, saved once more, but with the shop and tower here up, this looks like now enough of a foothold. More ivories, more towers, and the region scroll as well. Glorious. I'm pretty sure this is as good as a Night Elf can possibly play this hold. Like, Moon made it actually close, got a lot of kills at the end of the last fight, but it's a, it's gonna be a numbers game. Moon made great use of that regen and staff and rejuve and gets good value out of bears, but having this lore here and getting production cut in half while the expo is under threat and the shop is in the back and the towers are crawling forward. It's a little bit of a knockout situation. Expansion is still mining. If Moon had insane heroes, maybe he could still stabilize on one base. This is the last attempt. Lots of bears are now ready. They're charging into the fight. Some of them are GNL bears, though. Need to change that. And we got Roar as well. Moon all of a sudden with a formidable army again. Dragon has got the fire. Panda only level two. Inches away from three. Rifles being exposed. Orb damage trickling down. Okay, there might be a chance. Dude, if Moon wins this fight, level three panda now, but no mana. Th courtesy of the towers. We got three towers up now. And Sock is maneuvering in a, a favorable position to the right hand side. Protected by towers, close to the shop. Region scroll, clarities, potions, all up for grabs. Yeah, there were some sick detonates as well. So much mana drained on the casters, but some of the bears were still slowed, couldn't really catch up too well. And the army is still intact. Almost seemed like Moon was going to be able to break through, but the towers here are holding the position. And that kill gives the panda three. That's a big level up as well. Towers now able to attack the tree. Moon well down. Moon supply blocked. Trying to sandwich here a little bit, but that will leave a foul taste in the mouth. Slow trap activated. Breakers not even up front, but the towers are the damage sponges here. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire on both sides. Neither was at the shop for a long, long time, but of course one has a region scroll, and that's uh, basically a huge scroll over time. Keeper level 5, so you can see that Moon is still getting kills. Dude, Moon is making this hold work so well for so long. <laughs> we've, yep. we've been feeling like this must be over. Yep. Took out some of the towers. There's little damage now. It's only double arcane, only one guard tower. Panda for Panda. Sock, no HP as well. Doesn't have a potion anymore. Oh my god, Moon. What? No Moon way. No way. Trying to close the door with the breaker. Not fully. We have one panda with mana. The other has not. Uh, he said. Oh, there must be a staff. Whee. Okay, panda safe. He's got the hold. What? Got, does he? Does he? I'm not sure. Bear falls to the tower. There's still three towers. Oh, the Dryad's now also taking a lot of damage. The panda needs to return for Moon quickly. He's coming back from the main. There's lots of Moon juice there. He's got a mana potion also. Keep it though. Oh, uh, no, doesn't take me a time. Oh, Didn't no. Didn't see the breath coming. Oh, no, Moon, he almost had it. So close, but now the level five keeper. He had a town portal remo. Yeah. And he lost the hero with an orb. A majority of the damage uh. is now gone. And that also is the staff. Oh my god, the utility of that keeper loss. Sending something to the tavern. It's a wisp, and that will bring back the keeper. But man, was that painful. Whee! Moon with Next. an insane hold, but one mistake might make everything crumble. 
Okay, keep her back. Healing now though, and that expo will not be mining for much longer. Moon has to engage now. But, I mean, can he? Breath of fire. Oh, Oy. gets all the wisps. That is the end. Who? Suck though. <laughs> Almost bested. Almost broken this strat. After a great early game by Sock, Moon followed up with an insane hold. That was very, very impressive. Almost had it, dude. He almost had it. He almost had it indeed. He has now the 1-1. One, one. And the good news for Moon is that his loser's pick is coming up next. Sock already had quite a lot of issues winning his loser's map in a very, very favorable position. Now what? Um, still a tough task for Sock, hopefully with a little bit of momentum, but just as we had in the match versus Kaho, Twisted Meadows is Moon's loser's pick, and oh, please, human, night of macro map? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Hell yeah. And interesting also what the heroes are going to be. Twisted Meadows is normally considered extremely good for Warden, but Moon was never really a Warden player. Ever. I wonder what he's going to go for here. Could very well be that one. We got two subs. Shaker! Thank you very much for the four months. I do love... N I do love Neffel, but I do hate this annoying notification. I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, another sub, another story, 413 sub as well. Best wishes to the streamer and chat. Back to lurking. Thank you guys very much. Twisted Meadows coming up. Dude, today's delivering. We got some great series going back and forth. Seemed like we had a one side game to our hands, but Moon made it close in the end. And now Twisted Meadows indeed, the decider. It's the decider, third map decider in many of these series, as it seems as we will be getting ready in just a moment. 30 seconds, and then we're halfway through the day. Co-cast is delivering. He's talking about you, Remo. Pork, pork. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. You'd make for a good chicken. Now I'm thinking of KFC again. <laughs> that would I be an idea. Know. KFC after the cast, get that protein in, baby. Muss nicht uh, schmecken, muss wirken. <laughs> do, do, do they have veggie alternatives at KFC already? They do. Really? They do. Yeah. They got that at uh, most places. I think they got it at all the fast food joints these days. Yeah, to be honest, I, I thought for KFC, maybe they are the odd one out. Maybe. Nope. But with chicken, it's rather easy and it's rather tasty. So good for them. I haven't had KFC in ever. In ever? One bucket after the cast, baby. That sounds good. All right. You know what Guys, sounds good as are... well? <coughs> <Loaded Ever. in. coughs> Map number three. Twisted Meadows. Oh, and this is a this is a cheeky start by Moon already. I like it. People don't Going see with it yet. The Ancient of War in a sneaky position. In a sneaky position. Well, then I'll probably show the peep what's going on. I'm for forwarding, forwarding, forwarding. <sighs> Who cares? Let's go. Sock bottom left hand side, moon upper right hand side. Where is the sneaky position? Oh, look at this. Left hand side mercenary camp. Yeah. Gonna try to go for a fast level two, pick up some mercs maybe. And he is going for the warden. As mentioned, very good map for the Warden. Normally with Ancient of War creeping, especially double Ancient of War creeping, you can level her like crazy. It's a big map, long game, macro, all that the Warden loves. But at the risk of offending some Moon fans, I must again state that I don't think Moon has the best Warden. I don't think he's on the same level as a Foggy or a Lawlight, especially. How about Colorful? Well, Colorful is an amazing player, Neo, as we know. Yeah, but um, but the warden here in Moon's hands. Yeah, I have my doubts, but we'll see. I think Moon has been improving with Warden quite a bit. 
uh, especially on this map. I've seen it a couple of times and it was uh, very, very decent. Sock, of course, playing a lot with Lawlight should be uh, used to playing against that. It's not going for a Mountain King. I am very displeased with the amount of Mountain King first today, Mr. Remo Demo. Hmm, we saw none of them, right? That's right. Zero, That's zero MK so far. Too little. I need more MK first in my life. Yeah. It does feel kind of bad if you play MK and then you face a Demoner. Not yeah. to be recommended. We have a little bit of a break here. Shout out to Grubby giving people an education on chicken. It's very good. Chickens? Yeah. I Chickens are not vegetarian. I'm glad you asked. As one of the few Warcraft players who has chickens, I can chip in. Chickens are voracious. They are absolute animals, omnivores, barely removed from dinosaurs. For real, they'll eat veg and insects and more. Yeah, chickens are cool. Dude, I would love to have chickens as well. You get fresh eggs every day, super sick. Also yeah. reminds me of uh, that interview with Werner Herzog, where he was like, it is amazing. When you look into the face of a chicken and you are presented with just insane levels of stupidity, it is really humbling, I must say. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm a bit grossed out by chicken. You mean? What do you mean? Like when they, like, the way they walk, the way they interact with each other, they shit on the floor everywhere, I don't know, man, it's uh, kind of gross. I like myself some chicken. Especially KFC, baby. All right, Warden, what's she doing? Leveling up, got a big heal potion that can be very good for harassing early, sticking around. And of course, we're expecting the Archmage. Go for the expansion. Oh, Ooh, big footy scout. Yo. Seize the Ancient of War. Ooh. Double Ancient of War was the plan. Plan foiled. Dude, for, for Sock to scout this, he must have been exposed to Moon's Warden creeping a bunch of times. And what the hell is this harass, by the way? Just jump into the human base a little too? Okay, it's gonna stop lumbering, come here for quite some time. Now it's also nighttime, so Warden can... I guess you already could hide with a cloak. And yeah, I think he's gonna pop the big healing here. It'd be super annoying. Yep. Oh man. There's lots of movement on the map with Shadow Priest, Wisps everywhere, Engine of War, next Berserker coming. And the Warden is ready for some more right clicks. And since there's no Arcane Tower, she's also ready for a new fan for a double kill. Sock has the Lumber to start the expansion, but there's not much left. Ooh, there's going to be slow power build. Yep. That's the potion. started though, so it's going to be a while until we got tier two. Warden. Ah! Oh. I was, I was a little, little, just a tiny bit worried about the warden here. Oh. <laughs> Did she just mock me oh. for, for living the game I'm watching, for feeling it? Dude, this is painful for Sok. Ouch, yep. he's also feeling it. He's feeling the pain, man. That is so many peasants going down. Yikers. This is the kind of game where you think to yourself, man, why didn't I just wall off my base? Yeah. But you know what they say, no pain, no grain. Yeah, and no lumber, no power build. That's, yeah, this? that's a great no. rhyme. Have you ever thought about like a poetry slam career? I have, many times. Yeah? I'm a poet in my, dr I'm a poet in my dreams. I call <laughs> myself John Keats. <laughs> whose name was written water. This is looking like a sad game so far for Sock. Well, it's looking like an extraordinary game for Moon. It is. Warden is struggling a bit so far still with levels. <laughs> He's still sticking around just here, Invis. Yep. He's like, you can't leave. You can't leave. But he can't surround. Blink. Boink. Oi, oi, oi. That was just from reveal alone, this was pretty expensive. Man, that's going to be a late tech. But it's counter expansion almost up. Silver lining Expo for Sock is up. Um, there's plenty of laps on this map where you can get shredders from to help you with lumber. Oh, 
Moon might try to steal the shredder here. Look at the wisp on the left. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. That would be so mean. Is he really going to steal the shredder now? After already being such a meanie, he's going to do it. Yo. Oh, shredder stolen. <laughs> that thing has a long cooldown. <laughs> I mean, I am trying to catch him. You, oh, the warden is here, level three. What did you say about Moon's warden again? Player's forces are under attack. Not yeah. too great. Moon's warden kind of isn't too great. Are you kidding me? Kind of underwhelming, right? Oh, yeah. Look at the mercs keeping the shredder safe. Oh, For now. or is it safe? Maybe not. <laughs> maybe yes. Maybe no. Is a, is a, so much game. time invested and the deny. Still worth it, I guess. Warden level four. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so many losses. <coughs> Ouch. Yeah. You win some, you lose some, though. Use the reveal to scout on the right hand side looking for an expansion, but it is somewhere else. He's got that. Right. Aya needs to join the footy and cancel some lures. Yeah. Talk, you need to. You need to. You need to start doing some stuff, buddy. Not that easy. Oh, it looks so pathetic attack. when you see Moon twenty four food, but the amount of damage he did with that twenty four food is uh, it's pretty good. Thinking about if he wants to use the deados. He do. Alright, stop going for mercs. I like this. He's over at the merc camp, got the muddy already. Could go for the mauler as well. How much gold does he have? Good amount. Shouldn't he go for the mauler here? I think so. Yeah, mauler quite hard to get rid of with Please just fan of knives and blink. Back. Tech has started at the eight minute mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just for as a reference, like six minutes is somewhat normal. Everything below six minutes is really good. Seven minutes is already like, oh my god, I need a big play to come back into this game. Eight minutes is an issue. Right, the mercs unload. The warden found nice. He's doing a pretty good job. Perhaps. A so I could go for a heal scroll here. Attack. AM to the shop, get a heal scroll, keep the pressure up, but. Yeah, credit where credit is due. Moon has been playing a sick game here. Really, really well done up until this point. And the warden still has room to grow. Thank you, Juno93, for the three month sup. Juno, Juno, merci. It's a good movie, isn't it? I don't know what you mean. Juno? Juno? Is that the one where the girl gets pregnant? Or what do yep. you mean? Ah, yeah. Player's forces are under attack. Sweet little right, Zeppelin. Yep. Bah, 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 bah. Warden's close to five. <laughs> Telly staff should be ready for her. of Quatalas. Nice for her. And Sock finally got the Shredder. Shredder number two shall be his. So Lumber will be coming in, Macro will be becoming available, and that can sometimes mean some tanky boys. I was about to say, like, the way this game went, don't you want to aim for tanks just to get some revenge of Moon to make it at least very annoying? At least inflict some emotional damage. Emotional Don't damage! <laughs> oh, and getting a dryad here as well. Moon is trying to show maybe some chinks in the flawless armor, but the warden got level 5. Alright, she is coming to play. Hey! With an invul potion so she can't get burned. Five seconds till the next fan of knives. There's plenty of targets. Oh, getting burnt though. Ah! 
Oh. Ah! Rip mana. Yep. Sock. Stabilizing. I guess so. Workshops. Emotional damage. But I mean, it's Moon on Twisted Meadows, right? Like, I, I kind of have the late game in front of my eyes with eight Night Elf bases and very good defenses. A player's forces are under attack. Nope. Unload again, though. All the Wisps here are hurt. All right, Warden, you're very strong, but what you do? Still solo warden, now invisible, getting tr bonus experience from tier three soon. Wait, Soxeraz is actually working out well, man. And this is one of the oldest muddies I've ever seen, surviving for so long. Warden. Warden. Seize the Back triple workshop. Two. Come, 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 come. Hit oh me with God, your she's best shot. By the peasants. Ah! Can't get in. Now there's a gyro for detection. Sock. Mountain King is coming. Or is is out. Is creeping. Warden trying to find another angle, but three towers here. The last two minutes have kind of belonged to Sock. He's fighting his way back from a terrible early game. Still experiencing some pain in the main base, though. The Warden is looking for targets. Only a handful of peasants though, a little bit of gold. Sock has enough of that though, and is fortifying the upper left. With a nice concave, I gotta say. Warden also Warden hurt. Staffing towards it. Oh, the MK is close by though. Yep. Oh, interesting. This game has turned out way closer and way... Uh, way more competitive than I thought it would. Wait, MK is running away from the ward though, huh? Scared. Where are you going, buddy? Doesn't want to beat her up on International Women's Day. <laughs> Very considerate. Saffir, by the way. What? Saffir Where? spotted, by the way. If he's looking at the gyro. Oh, Stormbolt! On the panda, also a good target. We may not have seen the sapper. I still haven't seen the sapper. Ah, there it is! Found it, finally, after scanning basically every inch on this map. Oh, both have to multitask here. How high is the APM? The panda's almost Ooh. going down. One more Stormball would do it. Here comes the sapper. Yep, Moon and the sappers, eh? Ay ay No! Not again, dude! What's wrong with Moon and the Sappers? First, he blows up his own Sapper versus Lawlight, which was absolutely hilarious. And now he's just standing there. But the towers might still fall. The Warden is still here. The Ancient of War has arrived. He saved the Pan in the meantime, by the way, nicely from the Mountain King. He's in the Zeppelin now. But, dude. Stuff is on fire everywhere. The yep. expansion is getting attacked, the warden is hurt, and tanks are now also on the way. Oh my. The heroes are so hurt, both of them. Care Bear Redo. And then he can deal with the watchtowers. At the same time, we are dropping into the Night Elf base. Tanks are coming. Trying to force a response here. A little bit of poison damage. Warden is back. Mountain King is in a little oh, bit of trouble. Zeppelin Zepp! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the town is under siege. <laughs> the player's forces are under attack. Oh god. Oh. oh. What a glorious way to quickly throw away a lead and a beautiful game. <laughs> Emotional damage! <laughs> also, Warden level 6, here's the blink, fan, Zeppelin is there, oh man. I just suicide my Zeppelin if I see this. Jesus. Player's forces are under attack. I guess he didn't realize the Zeppelin was so low. Oh man. I mean, there was a town portal. 
it uh he could have used the town portal um okay tanks have to do some heavy lifting now they did take out the expansion so that's one goal accomplished Hannah's close to leveling up though. Level 3 right around the corner. The warden is at the expansion. But there's Zeppelin there to load up as well. Not too many peasants died really. Full mining. About to be re-established. Dude, if Sock wins this now. I mean, it's still even food. Just the hero levels are maybe a bit out of control. With a 3 level lead on the first hero. Yeah. That happens when two heroes die in the Zeppelin. <laughs> Did that happen? Oh, I kind of forgot. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, if Sock wins this though, dude, this is two comebacks in one game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can he do it? That'd be extraordinary. Like looking at the lineup, I knew today was gonna be good, and I thought, okay, it's. On paper, probably the weakest uh, group in comparison, but entertainment value is definitely there. Worst case, we meme about Fly and the Blade Master, but man, this day it definitely delivers. Hells yeah. And this game could still go on for a while. There's still lots of gold, especially in the human main base. But I guess Moon needs to look towards another base. Oh, Warden. Yeah. Finds the creeping human alliance. How dare they? Ooh, this damage is so low. Ay ay ay. Lionhorn, okay. Healing is there. Panda level four. And moon doing moon things. That's why it's called Moon Meadows. But Sock also doing Sock things with yet another tank. Second defend upgrade coming. Second attack upgrade is already there. And moon. I can, yeah, four, I, I like seeing four expansions wouldn't be too crazy. And the tank seem to be getting dealt with. The Ancients of War are in position. <clears throat> and the panda turning on home. The Breath of Fire here will do a good job. And level five is being worked towards. Okay. Okay, that's held. Moon has to figure out, uh, Sock has to figure out that this expansion is growing and we can put the tanks to good use. Mountain King is still trying to control the Warden, but on level 6.9. Nice. Um, that's a bit rough. And Moon's multitasking seems to be very, very fine. Defending where he needs to, poking where he can, establishing bases where nothing else is happening. Very pleased by this execution here. Sok is getting rich, he's been in no upkeep for a long time, perhaps considering what kind of army he will want to build. He found two auras. These would in theory go great with mass air. Oh, by the way, the flute damage bonus, does that work on tank damage? Well... Ooh, Steph. Um, good question. I'm not sure. Players' forces are under attack. Tree of Life has been found by the Gyro. Sok is coming over, looking for a castle, but I think he's too late. The Warden is here to defend. Moon seems to be looking more and more solid here. As we have bears in the main base, trying to take out the Paladin, and I think that should work. It's the only level one hero, though. It's not the end of the world. Would love to use his info potion now, but can't move! Stationary healing. In the meantime, Mountain King finds the Warden. Or does the Warden find the Mountain King? I'm not 100% sure. Level 7 now. Tanks are arriving. It's only two. Archmage also in trouble. Shredder here. Uproot for the better armor type. And that is a hold. And Sok is now finally in upkeep. Making some knights staffing around. Shoopity whoopity. Trying to get some more... <laughs> Staffs. Does he have triple staff? Or is it double? Just double. Alright. You heard it here. Schwubbidi wubbidi. That's the state of the game after 20 minutes. And that is only half a minute for mining in the main. For Sock, of course, a little longer due to Warden Harass. He's still got four minutes. I think that's gonna be the plan for Moon from now on. Just 
make sure that the human doesn't expand for a third, for, for a second time rather, with a third base, <clears throat> and then bleed him out. Wait for the gold to run dry, and Moon could, with that, <laughs> bring this one on home. Ronan25 says, clickety clackety, your Zeppelin, I attackity. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I like that. Yep, uh, me too. Alright, Sock again going towards the expo. AM is almost level 4. MK close to 3. Pally close to 2. Big level ups here all around the corner. Alright, Warden is busy in the main. Sock is aiming for an attack bottom right. Panda is there. Shredder is gone. Avatar up. Double level up. 4 2. Bears coming in. It's not that much damage here. If you had Blizzard, this might be working. Lots of repair coming in. Tanks tank a lot. And we have the answer. Flu does work. And that's, of course, a big help. Oh, breath repair. Not enough. He actually clobbers it down. What? Heroes might be dying. MK dead. Paladin into an invul. But that was worth it since there's still tanks in the main also. Um, took out so many moon wells, only two are left. Moon juice low, no production capability at the moment. He was like five mana away from a holy light, by the way, to save the MK. Really <laughs> close game. Twisted Meadows delivering as so often. And moon's not out of this yet. That panda, by the way, 420 mana, 450, level five, not bad. And another base established, but uh, Sok is very, very sure that this is happening. Tank in the main one more time. Tank here on the left-hand side as well. Level 7 on the Warden. Oh, finds the pally. We. Oui. There is another invo potion after the Divine Shield. Those don't share a cooldown. Panda, close by. Dry it slow now, very good. The Warden is trying to have the perfect timing. No! And she gets him! Why? Maybe busy somewhere else, no more mana. But maybe the right clicks are enough with the boots of Keltanas? In the meantime, tank up north at the tree. Warden was staffed, but at the Tree of Eternity, there's not too much she can do. Trying to run back to the Moon and heal and then get to the tank, maybe? No income at the moment for Moon, but two Entangles are getting ready. Mountain King is up. Bottom right-hand side has the Tree of Eternity, as you said. Ooh, how long is Sock mining from two bases? Two minutes. It's a long daytime now. No Moon Juice for a long, long while. AM staffs in. The Warden's right there. We blink, right click, fan ready, blink ready. Yeah. Got a TP. In the meantime, Panda stealing one on one with the Mountain King. Paladin is coming back in 10. Panda's kind of blocked, getting attacked by Knight. Stormbolt. Shouldn't be enough though. There's also a big invo potion. Maybe you can trigger this. Towers are helping a lot. The towers might be winning the fight and the pandas in Wait! trouble. Wait! Invul potion! Oh. What the hell? This game. Bears are Absolute starting to fall. Sick banger of a game. The warden's coming back, by the way. She's got two Ooh. fans of knives. She's trying to find the perfect moment for it. Got the staff also for the panda bear. Okay. He gets out, she goes in. Going for the MK right away. Invul's there again. The pally has so many targets he needs to heal. Zeppelin! Ah. Zeppelin! Ah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I saved you, Ms. Evely. Okay, in the meantime, trees taken out by four tanks. Sock is insane, dude. We are on one base, one base in l less than a minute. What a sick game. Yep. Beautiful series. Yep. Dude, today we today we got some we got some blessed games. Can Moon somehow win this game still? Tree of Eternity is mining. He's slowly making moon wells. Gyro sees it all. So I got a bunch of tags. Sock is pretty broke, so I don't see another town hall on the horizon. 
Reminder that this is all round robin and the other two players are Fly and Kaho. You really want to win the series and advance into the playoffs. Big creep camp here for the human. This is the kind of game where sometimes you hope for a bad item because you may need the gold. That is a bad item. That can be gold. Spell shield indeed. Doesn't work against AoE damage. But Neo works against chain lightning. Yeah, 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 sometimes. The player's forces are under attack. MK got the level three. Pally level three would be the real desire. And he gets it. Oh, level two. Holy light now. That's a huge help. But he dealt Made with all the tanks, right? Um, yeah, where are they? Two are in the six o'clock-ish position. Warden finds the workers. Good night. But big attack towards the main. Warden's tapping home. There's basically no moon juice here. How much gold does he have? 200 gold, buying something, mana potion. Avatar back, but hard to get corpses. Okay. This might be the last big fight of the game. The winner here will win this match. Moon has time on his side. He's got the expansion in the south, but this is a strong human army now. Zeppelin, uh, uh, Shredder out of the fight. That damage is not here anymore. Water Elementals gone. Yeah, 25 food ahead. Sock. Has to bank on the Warden. In the meantime, another tank here. Always poking FFA and 4 and 4 experience. Shining through by Sock. Sock's about to run out of income. His expansion is about to be dry. He has to win the game now. MK looking for target. Stumble finds another one. Sick, 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 sick. Gets the bear with a bash. Warden is in. Blink. It's about every single unit now. Both... Very little resources, Warden, 50%. Next hammer is gonna hit a bear, and then the staff is on cooldown as long as the panda's not coming in. And speaking of the panda, he's 5.7. The top left, by the way, Sokka slowly going for another expansion. This hasn't been spotted, still keeping the opponent busy with his main army right here. Sokka also taking out the lores in the main, so no Dryad Bear reinforcements. And Moon's army is abysmal, has to bank on the heroes, has to rebuild. And then, okay, he's trying to scout now with the Zeppelin, and that might find him. But Sock is in a winning position. Who would have thought this 10 minutes ago? Oh, look at the Zeppelin on the left-hand side. Moon Zeppelin sees a peasant going there. That is very suspicious. And the Warden could easily get up here and ruin the day for the peasants. Does she have the time? The warden was almost level eight. Are under Sus, as the kids say. Panda levels for more gold, more items. <sighs> 71 food, great upgrades both sides. It's only militia, man. What can the militia do? There's Zeppelin there already. Very yep. important. Sock needs to be quick to load up these peasants. And he is. Okay, but there's no progress on the town hall then. And warden has an orb. Sock can force the Warden back with his army. Should be able to. Knights, Breakers, Tanks. And at long last, the strong hero levels he was desiring. Panda's trying to but buy Panda time. Panda 6 is not far away, dude. <laughs> yep. Got a mana potion there as well. Holy Light on the Knight. Everything safe. Tanks against the buildings. Shredder diving deep. Good distraction, but also good experience. 156 critical strike. One inch away from the ultimate. Earth, Storm, Fire, Heat, my call. Knight suffering quite a bit from the poison. Level 8 on the Warden. This is the decision here. Fan of Knives, barely noticeable anymore. Stormbolt, right click. Oh, level 6! Needs the ult! Moon holding on, holding on. Oh. One out of the danger zone, and here we go. Insane damage from the Fire Panda. We got Cyclone from Lightning and Taunt from Earth. Is that the game winning move? But the tank's still doing damage in the back, trying to take out the Moon Wells, but the Bears might be able to deal with them. Sock has to run back. The expansion, by the way, is up, but there's an Ancient of War over there as well. Ooh, sick. Eight and six, the heroes. Oh my Incredible. God. Engine of War only attacking the peons here. That doesn't do too much. Repairs coming in as well. Ultimate for the Panda is almost over and on cooldown for two and a half minutes. 
TP up to the town hall. But the warden can get over there quickly. And now it's nighttime for a long time. A bit of Moondus is still there. Some Moonwells were lost. They're being remade. Moon doesn't have many buildings, but man, does he have strong heroes. Supplies even. Triple staff on sock holds insane value too. And Moon, he has still no lores. He doesn't even have a Huntress Hall anymore. So before we get new bears, new dryads, it's gonna be daytime. <laughs> Dude, what a sick game this is. A sick, sick game on a day of sick games. Pally mana is low, very few holy lights. Moon may perhaps have enough to finally break through. Are you kidding me? There is another expo coming up in the upper right as well. And the warden finds the target. Zeppelin, not again. Ooh, out of the danger Avatar's zone. Avatar's got the corpses now. Got the corpses now, can cancel the towers. Moon, has he finally done it? He no may way. have finally done it. <gasps> Panda! Against the tree! There is a town portal, but does he need it? Turning around, second chance. Warden is also there for staff. Good play by Moon. No threat for Moon at the moment. No pressure on him at all. The tanks are almost all gone. There's only one tank left going towards the expansion now, but there's so many Moon Wells again. It's all that Moon is spending his money on. The wells. And it's got so much juice. Very FFA here, not investing into units anymore. Rather boost up the heroes, and why not? They're eight and six. Nicely dodging the fan of knives with the uh, with divine shield. And knights are like half tanks at this point, I guess. But the avatar and the expansion man. That's rough. Oh, so much oh. AOE! Oh. Steps to falling. Oh. And that is going to do it. God damn. What a sick game. Moon etches it out. A game of comebacks and comebacks and comebacks. And some hilarious moments as well. Both would have deserved to win this game. Amazing showing by them. I say it again and I'll repeat it. Twisted Meadows must always be in all map pools of all tournaments until the end of time. It's the greatest map and it, today it was played by the greatest players. Moon was outstanding. So was Sock with his fighting spirit here. If this early game goes a little bit better, he has an, a solid choice to win this. But that Panda Ultimate came in class.